Hello, everybody. Welcome to Indigo Terra Odyssey. How is everybody? I hope everybody's doing great. What a crazy weather forecast we had today. It was stormy and sunny and like rich gold and purple skies. It was totally, totally amazing here. So what I thought I'd do is, and now that I'm feeling very like the seasons are hustling along, we're going to see what's coming for you in December, sort of like your wintry months in terms of let's do the topics we'll do um, like mind body spirit you know mind things you're learning and progressing towards body that can be love um and you know 3d type of things money and financial and then spirit special messages from your guides things they just really want you to hear things you're ascending towards and reaching for you know when we really believe in the infinite and the limitlessness of everything especially around this holiday time a lot of magical things can take place but before i begin to and you guys make your choice i just want to let you know about a special that i'm running i'm running a lovely weekend special three questions for 33 dollars. it'll end up being a 20 minute plus private video and it's ready within 48 hours i'm going to do it throughout the weekend so it'll be all of tonight and tomorrow and it can be on varied topics or three things on one topic about a particular person or circumstance whatever you guys want so you can dm me at sparkwist11 or email me at sparkwist at gmail.com you guys you can just screenshot this and use it i like to run these every once in a while as a nice thank you um I do have a lot of activity over with people asking about certain rates and specials from all my TikTokers that came over and um, started to join in on everything. I'm really excited. So this is going to be so special, guys. I just want you to know that trust where your life is going to take you. Something that seems blocked or disastrous could be the thing changing your life the most giving you everything after right all this resistance that you're feeling is a way for you to overcome it and then it's almost like doing that last hour after a long shift right and you push through it and then you're like ah you have a three-day weekend that's really what's taking place you guys have done a lot of shadow work and you're now expanding and you're going to receive unexpected wonderful blessings by the universe you're ready look for these signs your time is coming it is about to happen Happen for you and a lot of you guys can feel it which I love and you've been you know you have been writing and like mentioning this all over IG it's really wonderful and I think you know you guys understand now how to manifest with the universal law of divine timing that you surrender it's for the highest good of all and you affirm that that's what you want or something better okay you guys so we're just going to have a, a brief pause so you can make your choice number one we have our symbolo where it looks like our symboldo mermaid and then we have um seashell princess and then we have stardust angel okay i'm gonna have a sip of water and let you guys make your choice no 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 my cat is being a super super troublemaker with everything the other day you guys comment down below if you have a cat that's sitting peacefully on your lap and then when it gets startled it uses you as a human pin cushion to just vault off of you i have these like indent marks on my stomach and my leg where she just bounced off me the other night and i was like ah so i'm not letting her sit on my lap anymore okay my gorgeousness we are going to start with number one so we're going to start with mind and what i'm going to do is we're going to see what you should be concentrating. Oh, I love this. Let me make sure we don't have a glare too. So I'm loving this, this beautiful counter blessings, ghost of the pumpkin patch. I love the artwork in this, right? So really with your mind, how you're going to be able to fortify yourself and feel good about where you are and where you're moving is honestly, where's the gratitude? You know, how often is that coming in? Are you counting your blessings? I get so excited just like today when I rediscovered this batch of cards. I surprised myself by hiding like new decks after I use them a couple times and then I find them I find them you know one of my bins and it's like yay a merry Christmas treat are you counting the fact that you have sight that you have hearing that you have both legs and whatever that you have that's helping you operate in a capacity that brings in blessings right I'm really happy that I have my voice I don't lose my voice which is amazing the amount of you know the amount of time I talk and I don't get a sore throat it's like I just feel like all the things that are necessary for resources for me come to me and what are you using and utilizing as your gifts because some people too it's like we we bring in a bit of perfectionism we think well if this isn't you know up to this grade then it's substandard I'm not going to show the world I'm not going to go on YouTube I'm not going to create this joy I'm not going to paint this painting but count your blessings the fact that you feel inclined to do this is is saying go out test these skills and you're going to find that you have gifts that like 
up until now have gone untapped because you just haven't kind of focused in on that. And I feel like the things that are meant for you are these blessings are going to be rushing in for you, new understandings, and it's and it's going to help you capitalize on all these gifts without being, you know, ego driven and giving yourself a hard time and bringing in perfectionism or, you know, is it too much, too little, always prevaricating and procrastinating. Now you're just going to go right ahead and you're going to try these things and you're going to feel good. So let's see what else is going on for you for body. We have a powerful energy shift. So within that, it's meaning you're going to want to do the things that you need to do to take care of yourself. Get rid of some of that salt and sugar, stretch, exercise. It's cooler months now. There is a wonderful, unique energy shift within you that's saying, you know what? And it's funny because an eclipse is coming up too. A, you know, a lovely lunar eclipse in just a matter of days. I think it's like on the 19th actually. And you're going to find with that, I, there's a decision to be made. Am I going to look after this earthly vessel that was given to me? And the answer is going to be yes. And you're just going to find all of a sudden you're moving a muscle, changing a thought, and you're doing what you need to do. Stretching, feeling good, but also body has to do with everything, your heart space. And you're going to feel and decide that the world is welcoming, warm, and loving around you. And everything that you desire is going to start to become your reality because you're using it to manifest. You're going to set intentions and you're going to focus and follow through and go for it and get it. And that's going to make you feel empowered, which is going to make you have good decisions, reach for good, healthy foods, um, good materials to read and understand and feel good about yourself without pushing yourself. You're going to have a really nice um, rest motion balance without, you know, being critical. And I feel too that everything all of a sudden when it happens, you're so thankful and you have so much gratitude that more and more blessings and good positive results come in both bodily and mental. I feel like it's a really enhanced time for you guys to learn things, pick up information and retain it really beautifully and then be really expressive beautifully in how you know you share this information. So a lot of you guys that are speakers, this is amazing. There is so much in store for you and you're going to be able to do so much more physically than you have done before as well. It's almost like now that you believe there's enough time there's way more time and allowance for you to do all the things that you want to do. Now, let's see what's going in for your spirit. Oh, I love this. So in terms of spirit, it's like you're just going to feel like I want to glow up. I want to look the way I want to look. I want to look after myself and I want to feel that. I want to feel that spirit within me, that inner glow. I want my soul and my heart chakra and my chi and everything flowing and to be open. And I just feel like there'll be lots of flirtations and fun things because you're going to feel inner strength where maybe before you might have paused or been a little gun shy or thinking, you know, oh, I'm not up to this or I'm not A, B, and C. Now you're going to go, you know what, spirit, spirit really, really wants to bring me into a bigger arena, a bigger arena to find kindreds, to find fun, to find romance, to find courtship, to find fulfillment, basically, to feel stable and grounded, but at the same time, feel like you can fly free and experiment with things. And not drama in terms of like, causing friction but drama in terms of like a flourish a wild kind of like finesse to things color enhancement and you know really being able to get out there and express yourself in new and dynamic ways and that's part of your spirit saying you know what you're a many layered capable being you're not this one dimensional i go to work i eat i have leisure time i go to sleep that sort of thing all kinds of interesting things and facets are going to come um to the fore for you which i really like and with that happening, you're going to ha initialize this beautiful change and you're going to notice the shift from stagnation to flow, from lack to abundance, to confusion, to clarity, pain, to peace, all of this. This is a big turning point for you, group one, and you're going to really relish it and you're going to make the smart changes that you need. You know, a little bit of tweak here and that it's mostly because you have that present moment awareness, like this energy feels pretty crappy right now. So I am not going to reinitiate this kind of thing. I'm not going to spend, you know, my time watching five hours of TV. I'm not going to spend my time lamenting and fearful and all of this. I'm going to have all these beautiful breakthroughs because I realize I need to initiate the change and you're going to do that. So you're going to try new and fabulous ways to do things. And it's really going to super like energize you, you know, a lot of vitality and a lot of fun and really feel free to work with crystals at this time. Like I noticed yesterday when I went out, I'm like, I want a clear crystal quartz. And I also want my smoky quartz to divert any negative energy. Cause I just felt like I wasn't concentrating very well. So you're going to make good use of crystals too. And um, if you want come over my IG, which is sparkrist 11, I have a lot of crystal stuff on there that you can go see what does what. And it really is sometimes important to 
spark that kind of connection and any and i believe this within anything whether they're talismans charms crystals whatever it is it is that one kind of thing that it's like you're just reaching for all the things that help and enhance this wonderful abundance that you're bringing in a new understanding and personal growth for yourself so i love that for you yeah i mean i just feel like you're gonna have really stunning like moments with people where you're like wow that was dramatic and awesome but again this powerful energy shift says you know get get on the surfboard and ride this wave because you're going to be happy that you did and you're going to meet some great people and you're going to feel good about yourself and you're going to go from confidence to confidence from strength to strength which is beautiful and also when we honestly when we apply gratitude to our every day we see the miraculous we see the beauty we see the abundance we see the opportunities and that's what you're really going to have your lenses focused on and you're going to feel good and you'll feel better physically again mind body and spirits just polishing up the whole act group one so beautiful again you guys um feel free to come over to my ig and get uh, in on all of the daily posts and memes and the readings that i have and i want to thank everybody for coming over there and again yeah just whenever you're feeling a little bit low be like what do i have around me that i love and cherish and then you'll feel your mood swing up give you a, give you an example today i didn't want to attack the cleaning list that I had to do and I don't particularly love dishes but I turned on reggae and I was just started jamming out and dancing and listening to reggae while I was doing the dishes it made a whole different experience it made it more of a meditation than it did a hardship so you're going to find routes like that so you enhance your just little daily activities day to day and gives you things to look forward to right and and it's going to really you're going to find that uptick in your vitality which is really great so 11 like group, group two the seashell princess and I feel if you if you chose this particular one, you guys like things that are theatrical and beautiful and fun and, you know, oceanic and really rich in depth. This card really attracted me when I saw it. I was like, oh, I want to use it in the layout. I really loved it. So you guys, this is definitely, we're going to find out what's going on. First in mind, we have, oh, sweet memories. So a lot of you guys probably right now are a bit nostalgic about things that are taking place, reminiscing. You have some sweet memories of perhaps interactions, um, love and courtship, times gone by, some fun fond family moments and this really I especially know around Christmas time around you know Hanukkah Kwanzaa whatever that you celebrate Thanksgiving wherever you are holiday time this tends to come in and I feel like these memories that are coming in you're going to be able to realize I'm going to evolve with this you know I'm going to awaken to love and I'm going to become everything that I want to be I love and accept myself just the way that I am and I'm going to release any feelings of you know self dislike that I once had for myself. I accept mistakes I might have made in relationships, but I don't feel the need to criticize myself. And you're going to replace all negative words that you use to describe yourself with positive words. Mind, that is going to help you so much. You are not going to feel less than. You are not going to feel like you're trying to keep up with anybody. You are not going to feel like you are dismissed or any of those things that the ego comes in and tries to make our life this personal tragedy, right? Which sometimes it does. But you have a burning energy source inside of you that says you are worthy of all wonderful things now please understand your higher self is trying to relinquish all self-sabotaging tactics that come in that is all the lower vibrations doubt jealousy competitiveness a meanness stinginess all of those things and you're going to feel all this abundance and all of these things and you're going to have a sweet connection and your mind is going to be at ease you're going to be peaceful and you're going to feel like i can go forward and i don't have anything to prove i do not need to buy expensive gifts to prove that i like somebody or i'm you know i love them or i want them to feel good you're going to realize everything is just going to come from a heart space and be natural and and there'll be a lovely balance within your mindset like i was saying in my other video i always feel like people sometimes if you could make a wish i'm always and awe like in movies that people don't feel like I wish that I felt really peaceful at all times and balanced that would be my number one thing because everything else derives from that good space right then I could always you know money always comes things always flow things always happen you could I know so many people that have some serious bank and they drive themselves absolutely round and round in circles and they never find happiness and they're always worried about protecting their assets and they always are keeping up with the Joneses so it is money is not the thing it is the peace of mind and the peacefulness that we're looking for and you're going to have that which I love so let's see one other thing on that 
Oh, I love that. You're going to be able to laugh and realize when people come in and they're in these funny courtship rituals and all the craziness that love is strange. It's not supposed to be this storybook kind of like intrigue of, oh, hello, the most handsome man or woman in the face of the earth comes and brings me a bowl full of diamonds and we live in our castle and we have, you know, we have dolphins and we have acrobats every day with beautiful pine cones made out of diamonds. Like, let's get real. <laughs> you know, life is strange and it's funny and sometimes the things that we love about someone else somebody else could absolutely deplore right they could be like oh no you know what I mean it is our whatever we want I feel like you're going to have this fun kind of like a rich enticing fun love life sort of emerging as well so let's see what's going to be happening with body I like this. So some of you guys, if you're undergoing, you know, health concerns right now, it could be anything, you know, tummy pains, throat pains, COVID, whatever it is, I feel like a clear solution is coming through and you're going to feel better. You're going to start to rectify um, the situation. If it's little things, dietary change, whatever it is, I feel like clear solutions are going to come through and you're going to feel healing on a cellular level. But we have to think ourselves well. I'm telling you, every dynamic person and speaker that I've ever listened to that ever had um, was diagnosed with crazy things that was supposed to be irreparable. They have actually healed themselves first through knowing that we listen to ourselves and we believe what our, we tell ourselves. So when we tell ourselves, I am healing, I am healed. Uh, I have cells and they can correct themselves. Think of the time you felt your absolute like damn as butt dragon worse. Like you couldn't even get out of bed. You healed from that, right? But in that moment, it didn't feel like it was going anywhere. You probably, I remember when I was younger and I got poison ivy, I thought I was going to look like that forever. It was like my whole face had like just blown up and everything. I was like, how can my skin ever go back to normal? That's when I started to cherish the human condition of being able to heal and realizing and recognizing right then. We will always heal and we can always heal even things of enormous you know afflictions at the moment can heal but a huge amount of it is mental doctors always speak of this healers always speak of this we have to know that we are capable of healing growth and feeling better i'm going to choke this cat out because she just wants to sit on my lap but she gets me so nervous because again sometimes she launches and then she just like wrecks my whole stuff so know that i feel like your body you're going to be healing but also some of you guys i feel like instead of punishing yourself or trying to fill a void with food or um anything it could be weed drinking whatever you're going to call a halt to that because you're recognizing i'm putting a band-aid you know on a, on a like a gunshot type of thing that thing i have to start with the mental and heal through that i'm not going to try to dull this pain because what happens it comes back worse what happens if you drink a ton the next day you feel like hell and you don't get things done and then you feel guilty and then your body suffers right why why would we be do, why would we be abusing ourselves like that so i feel like you're going to find a clear solution it starts with our intention what is our intention for our body it is you know it is for for kind of like cleanliness and purity and simplifying and treating it well it's almost like if you had a beautiful white stone temple and all of a sudden you just started throwing um i don't know like blocks of butter and stuff and junk and you just left it all there to bake in the noonday sun we're not going to do that to our body that's a temple right you're going to treat it well and you're going to recognize the fact that you feel good when you do good right when you do good for yourself so let's see what's happening in spirit love this Ooh, so you're going to be getting a lot of personal signs that are coming in from you from your spirits a lot of this you guys i feel like dark birds i'm taking these angels and you're going to see certain pieces of jewelry like over and over you're going to be really attracted to certain stones and this i feel like it might be garnets garnets onyx and darker stones those deflect those are personal power stones and deflection also of um, negativity and i feel like too what you're recognizing is when i really look around and i look for the signs i see them but every once in a while we do turn a blind eye we get going and and our 3D energy and it gets heavier, right? But now you're gonna be like, no, you know, I affirm that everything that I need upon reflection, I will find. You're gonna take time to reflect on your amazing life and look where you are today and how you came to be here. Acknowledge, you know, the dark and the light. And now you're gonna have a clear vision of the positive changes that you need to make in your life to heal and grow in the most beautiful way possible. And you're gonna follow the signs. Like you'll see, I, every once in a while, I'll see a sign that says, take a deep breath. I totally need to see that when I see that. Breathe calm i'll see relax i'll see peaceful and something that really helps me too when i just stop and i look at the sky somehow just the breath and width of like puffy big white clouds just being so dreamy and floaty so restful to me and i can do that because i got to share this thing with you yesterday and it was so funny 
um, I just had an off day all day. It was like my energy was like, uh, I physically I wasn't feeling all, all that super hot. I just felt really kind of like run down. And I had to run errands. And this craziest scenario was happening on my ride home. My normal road that I just go and I turn and I do like a kind of Z to get on my road. The first leg of the Z, all of a sudden there was like five to eight cars there blocking it because the road in front people were lining up in the back of the school the wrong way. And it's like a middle school. So I, I realized that, oh, I have to go ahead. I have to go in this lane because I can see that it's clear. Go around these cars and take a right. So I get all the way past all these eight cars to turn a right. And someone's coming on that straightaway. And they stop. And instead of stopping and waiting for me to make my turn, they literally drive straight at me, causing me to have to back all the way back up into the five or eight cars. And then I look up and I, and I was like upset because it was a really obnoxious move to begin with. But then I see this nasty, sour old face and I yell out the window, you grouchy old shit. <laughs> Really loud because it was like this guy was giving me the face I should have been giving him he made something so totally inconvenient for me for no reason all he had to do was wait there for me to turn but he couldn't wait and he actually like endangered me by doing that by driving like at me so it was crazy but you know what I mean it's like that and then I realized as soon as that happened I, I started laughing at it and and I was like you know what? you have to be like that we have to accept that there are going to be people out there that are just utter maniacs and that's their problem and if they want to project all this nastiness I'm not going to absorb it but then I'm able to bounce back. And then, you know, looking back on reflection of that, it's like, you know what? Every day I can wake. I'm a new person. I'm ready for a new journey. I'm excited by the life that I've been giving. I treasure my health. I treasure my friends. I treasure my family, all of that. And you're going to be doing that. And that spirit is going to lift you into a state of abundance and wellness. And I just feel like you're going to feel enriched and happy. And those little meager concerns of like, oh, did do I measure up and all those silly things? They don't matter anymore because you recognize that's an ego, you know, that's an ego track. And I don't want to be on that. I don't care if somebody doesn't accept me as my authentic self when I'm just being my, you know, groovy, kind, giving self, then that is too bad for them. I do not have to prove anything. I don't need to explain or over explain why I'm doing something. In fact, I'm just going to silently go about my business and you know, mind my own business. And if I want to show up with wins and share and be generous, that's what I'm going to do. And I feel like you're really going to level up to that. A lot of clarity, a vision of the life that you wear, you want to go in your life and allow yourself to experience all the motions that come with that. You know, go forward. I feel like a lot of ease and grace with health and well-being are showing up. Again, you're taking care of your physical body to allow your spiritual self to blossom and flourish. And you're able to extract all the sweetness of life when you do that without filling your body with harmful substances. Your spirit is like kind of like purified, you know, because your body houses your spirit. I have to remind myself that when I want to eat my body weight and gummy bears or pasta primavera, I always recognize the fact, how did you feel last time you did that? You did not feel good. So do not do that. And now you're going to be like, you know, the, the guardian of your personal galaxy. Like I'm not going to let all this crap. And that's the same with mental too. I'm not going to let this mental static and other people that get performative, ridiculous or competitive in your zone either. So you can feel clear. I just feel like a lot of clarity is coming for you and you're going to be feeling really good. So that's you group two beautiful. Ah, you finished on 11, 11, 11 light two. Again, if you want to come over, um, you can take a screenshot at the beginning of the video. All my information's on there for private reads, the special and everything. And I want to thank you guys so, so much. Really, really excited. It's my birthday month coming up. Um, I get really excited because it's right, you know, it's right after Thanksgiving and it's fun because then, then we usually get more family members together and it's a really good time. So November, it really is a fun, fun season. And I feel like it's a good build up. Jan I, I feel like December and January really are pivotal where we decide, hey, you know what? Everything is quieted and slowed down a bit, you know, and a lot of places are blanketed in snow and you get time to read and relax. I feel like it's a great time to assess like your intentions and where you're going. So gorgeous, gorgeous energy group two. Okay, Love group three. And now we're off with the beautiful stardust angel. I feel like if you have this, you guys already have a beautiful collective of angels and guides that are helping and assist you. So let's see what's going on for your mind. First of all, we have powerful personal growth. So I feel like you're just ready. You are well situated to get going and realizing that you're incredibly excited about these goals you're setting but also you're getting really good at letting go of things your heart is only going to be a sponge for love there's no opening in your heart for fear-based energy anymore you want to absorb positivity every cell in your body is going to start to really feel peacefulness and joy 
with this powerful personal growth because when we align with our highest truest self things are so much more simpler right when we're not always in wanting and chasing and and you know questioning and prevaricating and procrastinating and perfectionism and all of that stuff we get to relax we get to enjoy and we realize hey we were put on this earth to enjoy ourselves, be curious, learn things, connect with others, you know, and really harvest all these beautiful bounties that help us grow. And that's what you're connecting with. So your mind's just going to feel really open to new concepts and ideas. You're really going to want to learn, probably watching a lot of stuff on astrology and really neat different things that make you conceptualize change in a really um, positive, affirmative way that you're able to do it. Like I remember when I first started uh, listening to um self I was either reading or listening to self-help books I started with Ilyana Van Zant and things decades ago and I remember just hearing hearing things as simple as speak to yourself kindly and affirm things in the positive this will work out I have more than enough time all will be well I am capable I am smart you know I am worthy all of those things and I just thought that premise is so simple but guess what it really is the simple things that are the truest right just think of people that sit in their sun chairs down at the beach they don't have to be doing one other thing but sitting there and looking at the ocean and that's so enjoyable and so relaxing right we just think that we have to multitask our asses off to a degree where we don't even know I, I have done this too. I've been listening to one of my favorite readers why I've been answering emails and doing other things and then not heard a word the reader said. And I was like, why in the world am I doing this? I'm getting like 2% out of each thing I'm doing instead of 100% out of doing one thing. So right, right. When, that, when we rationalize it like that, why aren't we just... And, and I also, I found a way to trick myself into doing this as well. I watch foreign films now because then I have to read the subtitles. That way I am not like... Tr trying to do things on my computer at the same time. I'm not trying to do a million other things. I'm only doing that and then I get a hundred percent benefit from it. And I feel like that is going to help you. And you really are going to have some interesting findings on yourself. So let's see what m um, mind body time is going on. I'm going to pull two of these. Let's see. So you have you see clearly. So some of you guys too within your body, you're gonna be going these changes where you are intercepting messages. You're gonna have some clairvoyance. You're gonna be able to see things that are going to come to pass because you're gonna slow down and really tap into your intuition. And how we do that too is we're clearing our crown chakra and our third eye chakra. So you're gonna be having visions and cool things like physically that are like, wow, I, I see this. This is amazing. And now how do I really manifest this and make it come to pass? Because I love visualization for you know. Um, for manifestation for sure so picturing yourself if you want to be at that beach or that resort that's you walking in that sand what do you see do you see dolphins do you are you on are there hammocks around you palm trees what are you seeing visualization is huge you're going to start to see all these images of things that you want to bring into your life or that you are bringing into your life and that's going to be awesome but physically as well i feel like with this too i love this you're going to be your true self you're not going to try to um conform to everybody else's weird like one dimension of beauty these days where we see with everybody with big puff lips and hardly having a nose and like big eyes with mega lashes like there's nothing wrong about like some kind of beauty um goal but you are going to have your own unique presence and your own unique stamp on beauty you know what i'm saying if you want to have that awesome purple hair turquoise hair whatever it is you're going to enhance your personal beauty the way you like it you're not worried about what everybody else is looking like and i also feel like you're really going to be looking after yourself looking after your skin and moisturizing and doing nice things and looking at ointments and unguents and goodies because as we know as it turns into winter we need things that are a little richer and a little creamier right yesterday i did that for myself i was like dude i need the argan oil hand stuff i need this and that i was like i need to slather and splather all this stuff because i have dry skin and you're just going to be really doing nice things for yourself whether it's a, a doctor's visit vitamin c's whatever you need really keeping up with you and for some of you guys you really are looking into some fun things too i feel like fun wigs fun hats fun winter things stuff like that you really want to spruce up your wardrobe and have colors and and, and unique things with that but also, I feel like whatever was ailing you guys is going to be falling away too. Some of you guys might have had some things. And the reason some of this change is going to come come through internally the pressure your headaches, tummy aches, whatever's coming in because you're forgiving yourself and others. You know in your heart that you can heal from any hurt. You have to forgive the people that cause you pain, including yourself. When you hold on to resentment or anger towards another, you give that person power over your own heart and it also can cause constrictive kind of pains i feel like when people 
sometimes don't have good digestion repetitive headaches it can be through that holding resentment right it is like a pressure cooker believe you me i've seen this within family units and you're going to cut all ties to them and people that do this and by by forgiving not only others but yourself you're setting yourself free because anger is a natural emotion but you recognize that when you hold on to it it becomes toxic and it affects every fiber of your being in life so now you're like i'm letting it go that's okay if that person wants to be an absolute jagoff extraordinaire that is their business and i'm going to leave them to it and whatever they say or do no longer affects you because whatever anybody's trying to project on you now you're just not allowing it their vision of you their version of you their whatever their perceived inadequacies of you you're like no thank you i'm now working with a beautiful pristine clear white chalkboard that i'm going to fill in with my rendition of myself and yours no longer matters so take a seat and it really honestly i feel like some of you guys are really going to be strong boundaries bye bye to you know bye bye to all that kind of stuff and now you're gonna have some peace and you're choosing healing for yourself body and spirit unique experiences as opposed to the comfort zone and all of that so let's see what's going on with spirit oh my god isn't that perfect a time for spirit you guys really want to connect with your higher guides your higher self your version of yourself that you're absolutely proud of that is peaceful that is calm that is endearing that is enduring that reaches out and is peaceful and grounded again like what i was talking about if i had that one wish would be that i always felt peaceful in my heart calm grounded and stable because everything else arises from that i can always make an income i can always you know build a dream house with that it, it doesn't matter the physical things that are there are nothing Ever compared to the spiritual because the spiritual is where we derive our strength our direction our future focus our manifestations and you're gonna be really great at that you're gonna be really in touch with your spirit to a degree where you're like wow I didn't realize I had this power of persuasion over myself others and events when I really really give myself focus 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 because then I direct my stuff I have follow through and I do it I achieve it I attempt and I achieve because spirit always says you can have exactly what you want when you want it how you want it and you just you're you navigate it beautifully and naturally because you're not pushing and and you're everything isn't so time sensitive because our ego isn't involved when spirits involved spirit is saying oh you're sure as hell get that and you're going to get that in a golden format but we don't need to rush anything because the right timing is the right timing and of course our guides and spirits know when that is we think as humans we know that but that's our ego saying we think we know everything because we all that you know and we father time but realistically things aren't all meant to show up in one huge smorgasbord because a we would not it's almost like if you ordered a deck of tarot cards that you've been waiting for and you cherished and 50 other decks came with it it would be overwhelming and we wouldn't have the um, right amount of time versus reverence and care for each thing it'd be overload right that's why things come in steps and stages and because you're now recognizing that all these little things are really going to matter all that much more you know all those that great perfect book that you found you're like man am i going to choose the evening with this with the perfect cup of tea i'm going to have my fire blazing all of that it's like you're really going to become ritualistic and love things like i remember when i just set up for tonight's thing i was like i wanted to have my selenite i wanted to have my Labradori and I wanted to have the blue calcite and, and then I had things tucked under here, seashells, coins for abundance. I feel like the rituals are gonna help you really show how important and magic that events, when we set them up, that we can have, you know, we can have the magic taking place because we format it how we want it. And within that, the, we're setting intentions. As I was setting this up, it was all about intention. I wanted to look colorful and vibrant and have the right vibes and clarity and purity. And like selenite is a really interesting crystal with that. I feel like it just really purifies and clarifies. This is for speaking in calmness. And I feel like Labradori is just a wonderful magic stone for channeling protection. I love it. And I always like to have coins of some sort around to bring in abundance for people. So I feel like you're going to start to collect little things and stones and crystals and pieces that help you, right? And they really fortify that belief in, in yourself that you're protected, you're grounded, you're stable, and you're abundant 100%. So I love that for your group three. Amazing. If this is you, come Comment down below when you start to feel this. I really love that. I feel like yours was definitely the most impactful kind of insight that came through because you're recognizing where change is necessary and you're all about it. You're instigating it, you're putting it there and you're gritting it out and you're doing it and you're going, wow, you know what? I really trust myself to 
set a course for myself. I can do this. I can steer my ship. I can navigate and I can drop the anchor when I need to rest. I can set sail when I want to move faster and really, really feel peace of mind and all of this. So I love that for you. Again, gorgeous energy. Again, you guys, if you want to go back to the beginning, I'm Sparkwist11. If you want to DM me for the reading special, you can go back at the beginning and do a screenshot of that. My email's on there as well. And thank all you guys, all you newbies over from TikTok. You guys just, you know, you're making my day with all your beautiful little messages and stuff and your private read orders and your jewelry orders. I really, really appreciate you guys. You're amazing and your custom pieces that you're asking for. Really, really exciting. I love this time of year. It's the best. So love and light.